It's insane for you guys to be doing what you guys are doing, how the world is right now. But you guys decided to look at each other and say, hey, I don't care if the world's gonna last five more years, five more months, or five more days, as long as I'm spending the rest of my life with you. And that's what matters. Millie, do you remember the night that Jose decided to tell you that he liked you? Uh, you were in my apartment and you knew you had your suspicions and Jose was full of nerves and you were asking me to eat what is going on. I couldn't tell you anything, I couldn't tell you anything and you stayed in the room next door to mine and you paced the entire night. You stayed up um, praying, writing, thinking um, and you prayed and thought and you both made a thoughtful decision the following morning with prayer and intentionality to move forward but to cherish your friendship no matter what resulted. And here we are today. And I'm super happy that I get to witness this moment. I'm super happy you've made a lifelong and eternal commitment to one another. And we have the privilege, all of us here, of being present and we have the privilege of not just witnessing, but also learning from you both. And learning the way that you've approached life with generosity, with compassion, and with commitment to even weak little people like me who won't come out of their dorm room. <laughs> Por eso estoy agradecido. Y lo único que le, siempre le dije, cuando a veces me hablaba y me decía, es que mira, tranquilo, le digo yo, cuídala, 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 que otra como ella no vas a encontrarle. Y hoy se lo vuelvo a repetir, cuídala, porque lo que Dios unió, que no lo separe el hombre. Que Dios bendiga. Pero esta tarde, nuestra familia creció y acojo a Melissa como mi nueva hija. You know, I haven't had a ton of time to get to know you, Jose, but the fact that my sister has voluntarily given up her total independence to join lives with you speaks to the fact that she trusts you and that she believes in you, which makes me want to do the same. I pray that you would pursue growth, challenging one another to continue growing in the various areas of life. Cherish each other's individuality, remembering the value that God has bestowed on the other. May you have a prosperous, blessed, and exemplary union into eternity, filled with growth and compassion. So, 
Here is a toast to my sister and my brother, to some of my closest friends, Mr. and Mrs. Briones.